More than 29 hours since rescue teams jumped into boats and still no sign of the two young men. A spring break trip to Florida gone very wrong. Many of those searching for the men are college students themselves, dedicated to fighting, finding those in danger. News Channel East Jen Holloway joins us now live from Paso Grill with an exclusive interview with two members of that search team. Jen? Well, this group of very dedicated students, they are giving it their all as they work with local law enforcement. They're searching for a missing spring breaker and a local first mate. Somewhere in these cold Gulf waters are potentially two young men, Andrew Dillman, a boat worker in a local charter, and Jay Lou, both believed to be in their 20s, missing at this hour. Among those searching for the two men, other young people also in their 20s. The Eckerd College Search and Rescue Team, the only college marine rescue group in the country. Right now we're working with about 58 students. That's anything from a freshman up to seniors. That team works continually with local Marine Patrol, 911, Coast Guard, and many others searching these waters, always aiming for success. Jordan Cooperberg is a staff instructor. Everybody's getting out there to complete whatever the objective is. They all want to get the person home safely. They want to get the boat off of the ground. They want to um, find whoever is missing, fix the problem, and that's what we're out there to try and do. And for other team members like Kate Cedar, it's not an easy job, but she knows she can potentially save someone's life. And as you're going, you just are looking out and you're usually using the spotlight and scanning over, and it can get kind of almost in a meditative state because it's a little bit, you're just so focused on your one task of trying to look through the water for the person or for the vessel. This specialized group of college students does anywhere from 650 to 700 searches here in the waters behind me each and every year. Also, a quick update. We did check with the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office. Sheriff Bob Gulteri indicating that that search will continue as long as necessary, but still no sign of those two young men. Jen Holloway live in Pinellas County for us. Thank you, Jen.